Well, hey guys, and welcome to this video. So today we're gonna just deep dive into more information about the combos and configs. Well, this video is still going to be like only about the talking about the basics. I'm not gonna talk about the impl implementations until unless I will complete. I will not. I will just talk about all of the like all of the basics of uh, uh, cracking and binning and spamming and spoofing. Probably spoofing. It's gonna be like a little bit a little bit harder for you so we're gonna we're gonna just we're just gonna make our way through that so and uh, let's first of all get into this uh into the combos option let's get into that let me make another square here it's gonna be a little bit big uh more details about Combos, so this is gonna be more details about combos, so uh, like that, and uh, yeah, let's talk of what's actually like what are actually more details about combos. What actually combo is? Like I told you in the previous video, there was a like a running talk, but I'm gonna just go a little bit more brief into today's topic. So first of all, like I told you, it's a in the combos there are email and passwords, but we didn't talk about the quantity of email and passwords we have. So in the combos we have like we have over 1 million email email and uh passwords uh, i needed to mention that so we have over 1 million million email and passwords and then that goes like a little bit down we have like one over 1 million email and passwords and and uh, what we do and the, oh, last first of all, let me just talk about like how do we get the combos? So, uh, how do we make combos? So this is just gonna be like a little bit more information about how do we make how do we make even combos for making for making combos? We need to have keywords. So what do I mean by keywords? I'm gonna start, I'm just gonna talk about that. We need to have first of all, let's say we need to have first keywords. Then we need to have the docs. Then we get the links. Then we get the filtered links. Then we get the accounts. Then we get the working accounts. So particularly those, particularly I'm gonna skip that. Okay. So those are some of the things that we that we need to make a combo so combo making is not also an easy process to go with well you need to become professional while doing doing those things and uh, while we talk about some of the thing i'm gonna go into like a little bit more into the like I'm, i just want to go into brief description of keywords and dogs and stuff i just want you to know that what actually it is uh, i'm gonna make another shape sorry guys Right. Number one. Keywords. So I'm gonna put it somewhere around there. All right. So now we're gonna just talk about the keywords. All right. So what are keywords? Uh, keywords are actually like the in your keywords. We. Like a uh, right over, I would say, three and then keywords of the keywords related to that application or website that we want to target. You can say hack. So what we do actually, I say for example, we we want to hack Netflix accounts. So for that, what we're gonna, what we're gonna do? So our keywords are gonna be like uh, Netflix, Netflix twenty twenty, Netflix twenty twenty one. 
Netflix, latest movie, and extra. So keywords are actually like not a big deal, like they are easy stuff. But the thing, the hard thing is we're getting uh, quality keywords. Yeah, actually, would mainly just get those kind of crappy keywords. But when you get the quality keywords, and getting the quality keywords is literally not the easiest thing you might ever think about. Yeah, I'm gonna get the quality keywords just like that. So I'm just showing an example. You never got. I don't want you to use those of the uh, examples as keywords because they have already been used by some of. Like I, I have myself used them already, so you can't just use them by yourself. So let me just drink a sip of water. So this is the example of keywords. I'm not gonna tell you like how do you implement the keywords, how do you do that. We mainly use 300 keywords, 300 to 500 keywords, and the keywords uh, look like something like that. Well, once we get the keywords, let me put in the shape here. We convert those keywords into docs. So I'm gonna show you what's doc are. Kind of what kind of alien creature they are <laughs> so number two are the docs so let me just tell you what docs are actually it goes like that so docs are the you know page formats which helps us to to get any chalk get it results from Google. So what I just said is all over your mind. You will not understand this, but throughout this course you will understand this. I cannot just explain everything to you right over the moment. You can just go to YouTube, you can just get a little information about docs, what are docs. So uh, this is a little information. Let me just give an example of doc that goes like, uh, let's say if you want Netflix doc, what we use, mainly use, first of all, put the uh, page, uh, like uh, we put the page function. The page function is this first one. I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna explain this to the because there are so many page functions. Let me just put the in URL page function, or we can say entitled page function. You might have used this someday. And then we put the put our keyword. What our keyword? Our, our, what we what are we keyword we get first? I'm gonna put the keyword. Let's say Netflix. I put the Netflix keyword. And after that, what we do? We put the page type and we put the parameters in this one. So let's say we will put the first of all parameters. So parameters will go like ID is equal to. Then we're gonna like uh, what about the ID is? And we're like uh, PHP is the page type. We mainly use this kind of uh, docs. So why are they showing red line? Uh, let me see. What's the thing? Oh, proofing, yeah. I don't want to do proofing. All right, so example is like like easy like this one. So we get like, first of all, entitled is our page function. Then Netflix is our, uh, or right, Netflix is our keyword. And ID is our parameter, page parameter. And dot PHP question mark is our uh, page type. So I'm going to um, uh, like briefly explain you every single thing about docs. In future but for now just get the concept the docs look like something like this it's a lot more complex than you I have just shown you right now I just want you to make every single thing as clean as possible to you guys so you can you can get to know about the basics so the docs look like something like that uh, then we make a lot, then we make 1 million docs like that so you can see this one line of code then we make 1 million uh, docs like that. So how do we make one million docs like that? We randomize docs. We just put our keywords in the docs. We just randomize more docs. Like let's say we have four and like let's say we have six hundred keywords and we use this kind of docs. We will get six hundred docs and then what we will if we will do if we just if I'm just gonna change the dot php to dot html we will get six hundred more docs and then what I'm gonna do if I'm just gonna like change the dot id to item is equal to so we're gonna get six hundred more docs. So that's like how we do in here like i don't we don't manually do that we have so many tools to do that for us so don't worry guys you, this process is not as much difficult as you might think it is so make docs like that and there's not only this much talk about docs docs a little bit uh, uh like good kind of complex thing we need to talk about in the future but for now let's get the concept docs or something like that and uh, let me make another 
thing. Then we got to go like that. All right, sorry. What's happening? You see one day, oh, sorry, uh, for this thing. And then there we go. All right, now let's talk about this spamming. I'm gonna make another shape here. I'm gonna make it like that. That's gonna cover over spamming and in basic information. Three dot uh, spamming, and let's talk about this spamming thing. No, oh sorry, but I just I just got out of the topic. I, I really didn't realize that what we were talking about. So now let's talk about the links. Sorry, man. All right, let's talk about the links. I was a little bit confused. All right, let's talk about the links. So what are links actually now? So links are the link of the site that we get from docs. So docs, what we what we do, we just put docs in a tool that will just convert those docs into so like into like one hundred thousand website links that will give us so many website links that are like in somehow connected with that keyboard that we put it in there, like Netflix. So we'll get that uh, those like uh, like uh, links. And what I have was what we what do we need those uh, links? What uh like was in those websites? So they have somewhere in the database they have some accounts, some email accounts, some email email account passwords that contains that are internally related with the keyword that we put. Like say Netflix, some of the user might have logged in into into their website with a Netflix account, but uh the net, the website might have might be like leaking some vulnerabilities. That means some bugs that we we hackers can get into the website from the, uh, taking advantage of that bug and once we get into that and data like into the website we just look up into the database server of the website and we get the emails and passwords from the site and we just like use them for ourselves that's how it goes but every site doesn't have a vulnerability so we need to just like check which site has a vulnerability so we uh, convert our Docs to uh, links, then links interconnected with our targeted targeted website website or application. So I'm gonna talk about this in the future, in the briefly in the future, but just like get the concept. Otherwise, this video is gonna go like so crazy. So once we get that thing, yeah, we're gonna go like a little bit, make it shrink a little bit, put it there. That's better. Let's make another shape. All right, that shape goes like that. So I'm gonna make another square bracket. And uh, now we're gonna talk about the filtered links. Yeah, that's the number four. We need to talk about the filtered links. So what are the filtered links? Like I told you before, in the links we get so many websites links, and in the filtered links we filter non uh, vulnerable Uh, let me just check the spelling real quick. Vulnerability. Uh, that's correct. V U N E R. Oh, that's non. Vulnerable. All right, we filter non vulnerable links from vulnerable links, and uh, we throw the non the vulnerable links to trash something like that so what are we actually talk about this one 
the the vulnerable links are those sites that has some that leak some of the that are leaking some data that have some vulnerable vulnerability that we can access and get access into the site so let's say we have generated one million docs and we have we get like around around how many vulnerable links uh uh average average uh is so we get average of like 5k links and those are like filter links those are best vulnerable links so that goes like that and now we need to talk about the accounts and then we can we will talk about the working accounts well config oh my god man this is going so big all right so have the, we have the condition like that now let me make another one shape that will go from there to here now we're gonna just talk about the account so let me make it another shape get a little bit smaller Let's get into the stuff all right so this is our number five which is accounts so what is this account stuff i don't know oh I'm, I'm just uh, telling you so the accounts you might ask what is the account stuff i don't know about that so accounts what are we what's the account so we convert the working links uh to accounts with uh this process so what we do actually like we just put our working links into a tool and what does what that tool do it will just like give us injectable uh, sites like with this there all of the vulnerable links are not like injectable so it will give us some of the injectable site uh, which we can get access on which has some database in there so all the sites doesn't don't have a database so <coughs> it will give us some of the site which have some databases some user like there are some did some uh, like email password data in there and uh, once we get that data what we do we just uh, like select all of the sites that we had that has some database in there and then we choose whatever we want to choose like let's say i'm going to want to we have one the combination of email and passwords then they will just show us how many websites have the combination of email and passwords not every website will have the combination of email and passwords so that goes like that uh we or we we will uh, use the links no uh, we will use the links uh, to access the database server of the site containing the user's email and password. Then we just copy paste those email passwords and that's it so what do we do we just copy and paste those email and passwords and that's quite it like that's actually what is actually is so i want to make sure that one thing one second so the working accounts actually doesn't count in the accounts one because uh we just check if the accounts are working or not in the config portion so for now in the accounts we just came to know about this one account so what we do we just convert those links into uh like we just don't we don't convert like we use those links those like a doc links we use those links to just kind of get access to a website and once we do we just get all of the email account and even, even the password we just copy them put them into some notepad file and that's quite it for now until now now i'm just gonna just talk about the config op option well config is not as much uh like you know difficult as you might as those were so let me just quickly just make an arrow to conf to show what actually config is there goes our arrow and there goes our square bracket and uh yep uh uh config details so i uh, like i already told you there what actually a config is a little bit i give a little bit information about that config stuff 
now let's talk about it a little bit more. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. All right, so what I can't actually can't think is so the configs are the API uh, duplicate duplicate of all the API of all the login page API of the website or application that we want to check accounts off so like how do you how do really you even just know that if which accounts are working and which are not well basically you will go to the website you will put the log account details in there and just log in <clears throat> but the thing is will you even just uh put hundred thousand accounts manually by hand and just check which accounts are working or not well yes you can that will only take you one century well goodbye on your journey and we'll, i will see you after that <laughs> just kidding so that's what configs are for so what we, what's now like making a config is a little bit complicated other than making com combos <clears throat> but the process is not like much longer this is kind of like a smaller process so i'm going to teach you how to make configs uh in the future probably but for now uh let's just concentrate off about the config stuff and so this like api what do you mean by api like you know once once we log into any website actually there is an api uh, in the back end of the website that the was that is check they, they they check that if the account is present in the database if the login details are correct or not we just copy that api we just make our own code and we just write our own code and then we just make our like a route checker or something like that and we just put paste an api in that part and then what we can do if we're just gonna put manually not manually if you're just gonna paste our combos in there it's gonna check all of those api all of those email and passwords at an incredible speed and the speed depends about how many bots you're gonna use so for that part we mainly gonna be like gonna go like 200 bots per second so your 200 accounts will be like uh, uh checked per second that's a lot of speed you can't even just think about checking 20 accounts per second and you will like what check that i'm gonna say if any account will be working you will get that account in a different file and which accounts are not working they will just be added is so then at the end i'm gonna say you will at least get about like 100 or 200 or 300 accounts at the end if you want if you will have like good combos good every kind of stuff so it's not always important you will get 100 200 300 combos 300 evoking emails because it depends upon the sites like the site you are hack cracking from some of the sites might have like small amount of uh uh working accounts so let's say, let's say some might have like one two or five maybe but that depends about time site to site so you need to just work on the site and uh, i wanted to just uh talk about one main concept that way that i forgot to say that for cracking and uh, for cracking you need a gaming pc yeah so i forgot to tell you that well what actually cracking is cracking is a brute force method uh we already just you might have already just know about that and that's not important if you don't know about brute force method that's the kind of method that's like put some uh, email passwords and just try to log in to which are working which are working login 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 but if you're just gonna do this process on your normal computer first of all it's gonna blast number two it's gonna take centuries to check all of the accounts because you don't have that much internet inter inter speed you don't have that much power in the, in the pc but if you have a gaming pc you have a, like 500 megabytes per second internet speed or one gigabyte per second internet speed well i'm gonna say it will work but you know normal person would like no normally gonna say no i don't have that thing man so for that uh you uh you need a rdp so that means a remote uh de desktop protocol so remote desktop protocol is a, known as rdp so what it, rdp is it's a computer online hosted by google itself and amazon also so 
what actually that is that's like a they have just have bought some computers and they host them online and you can use those google's computer and they will give you the same performance performance as your own computer do you will not even know about like if you're using a uh, online computer or your own computer you can also do gaming on that that's a fun part so and those are kind of ex expensive but i'm not telling you to buy them because i have found a trick to get them for free so i'm going to share the trick for you with you in the future and for that said let me just first of all mention that what are the requirements uh requirements are pc are uh let's say one gigabyte uh per second is internet speed at least 16 gigs of ram uh let's say at least uh 200 plus gb plus ssd uh once we get the ssd 20 gigs plus and the intel Xeon. it was the on uh, processor of the hosted computer so you can say like it will be, it will be like a uh, intel 7 and the normal one i guess that's what it's called intel 7 i guess intel 7 let's say 9k which means the latest version or you can say ninth generation so i will say that might that will should work probably well i'm not gonna prefer y'all anyways to do those cracking things on your pc because you know those are some all of the heavy task thing that i really don't want you to do, do on your pc because if you will do those thing on your pc that will not like w just do anything bad to your pc but you know you don't want to do any illegal stuff on your pc well another main st uh, thing i forgot to mention uh, that will be just like I will just put that some around here. Oh, let me just put a shape of this circle. And that thing is uh, proxies. You might have heard about the proxies. Well, mainly when we search for the thing, you they only get the thing. Ah, uh, get the proxy. Get the proxy. It's for protection. Well, not actually for prediction. Uh, this is just mainly used for cracking. Well, I'm gonna tell you what's the concept of cracking uh, with the proxies. So, uh, all right, so uh, proxies, uh, it helps us to use different. different ips ip uh every second so that google won't think that we are doing something suspicious well actually one we are just using the configs to just check the working accounts all of the accounts are being checked by our from our pc so you don't want google to be suspicious about like who the hell that guy is that is just like logging with hundred thousand accounts per uh like say per hour kind of i don't know you can't just do that actually so let's say thousand accounts per hour who is that so you will they will get suspicious they can ban your ip forever or they can just you can just be in cop situation so once we just talk about the proxies let me just give a little bit more description of the of the proxies and then we're, we're gonna probably conclude this video uh let's go like that let me put a shape in here so all right okay so uh we use socks for proxies while checking not while converting docs to links so the thing is we use socks for proxies socks for is a type of proxy so there are three types of proxy one is the std proxy number two is the uh, socks for proxy and number three is the socks five proxy socks for proxies are being the most productive proxy but why do we use the what do we use the socks for proxies then well we use the socks for proxy uh in while checking while converting docs to links just because socks for proxies are more in quantity and while converting our docs to links would we, we want more con more of quantity ips wouldn't want quality ips that doesn't matter so just to make sure we don't get banned like i said before 
So we'll go like that for your socks, pro uh, socks for processes while converting docs to links. And uh, we use socks for uh, socks5 and uh, HTTP proxies uh, while checking while checking uh, combos in configs. So while checking combos in configs, at that time you need high quality combo, high quality proxies. I'm gonna say that by experience, you literally do need high quality pr uh, proxies because you know they kind of get suspicious about the activity, so they can go like they can put random stuff in there. So we're gonna just put, uh, we're gonna just talk about the recaptures kind of thing in the future, like we recapture version one, version two, version three. So that's a different concept in there. For now, we're just gonna concept only talk about the basic thing for now. Well, I hope you have already understood what I'm just told here. If you don't have understood anything, so don't worry, guys. We're just we're just gonna talk about the brief of every single thing in here, just be like the, that we just talked. So you don't need to be a tech geek before learning crack hacking. You can be a total beginner. And I'm gonna teach you every single thing from the scratch, like say from the bottommost part, uh, like part of the earth, to the up to the heavens. So that was like with that being said. Well, that was uh, that was it was a good time meeting you guys and talking to you like that. So let me just see, do we have anything else to talk about in this video? Uh, we talk about the accounts, we talk about the keywords, we talk about the proxies, uh, socks for socks five and entity proxies. Yes, I want to mention another thing that we can we can't put one, more than one type of proxies while converting docs to links, but while convert while just checking our combos and configs, we can put multiple proxies and at least. Is uh, being like required to put uh, like say 10,000 proxies while checking combos in configs. So proxies are free. Don't worry, guys. I'm gonna give you free proxies. I'm gonna give you all the paid tools. I like I have over 1,000 paid tools by myself. I have them in, in in a mega file. So I'm gonna give you the link of the mega file in the future video. So well, congratulations. You can see we are already made a good map here. So I'm gonna like. And give you this one note so you can just like practice by yourself you can just understand what we just talked about today well with that being said and i will see you in the next one and hope you're doing well